Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. This week on the Magic Roundabout, we've got a Dinky Toys Mercedes 1920, it says on the bottom anyway. So, it's a bit beat up. Windscreen at the front's broken. Tailboard missing, cover's missing. So, I said I'd do a simple one, and hopefully this will be a simple one. While you watch this go around and have a look at it, I'll um, like to welcome all the friends of the channel, old and new, any new new friends, thanks for dropping in, much appreciated. So, let's get this off the magic, and have a bloody good look at it. Here we are then, let's have a look. Pretty basic this one, they did another one of these, they did it in the blue and the yellow with the trailer. I think crap old Nick did one maybe last year at some point, but um, the difference between that one and this one is this is has this is pretty basic no opening doors, no suspension, no tilt cab, just a basic running a mill truck. Right, let's have a look and see what's on the bottom. It says Mercedes Benz LP. 1920 so some of you truck guys i don't know much about trucks at all so or lorries so this is what we got we've got a few rivets in the bottom of there one two three i think these are plastic wheels yeah they're all there they're all there as you can see the wind is broken that's smashed there it's complete there and there's no no front window. This doesn't have side windows. So that's that. Front's all scratched up. There's no dual headlights in these. Nothing like that. She's a bit loose at the minute. Um, tires, yeah, they're all right. Now I've got some spare parts for this. I bought a tailgate for it. I got this off um, Model of Supplies. And it fits okay. So that's uh so I'll go and I bought a cover. Now this is not fantastic, it needs good clean, but I bought it anyway. Um these are hard to get hold of. You can buy them new, but they're quite expensive. So I got this one with a donor vehicle. I bought a donor vehicle. Um basically to get this really, and they then they're quite cheap to buy. Um but I was lucky to drop on it with a cover on it, which is good, which sits on like so, like that. So, the donor vehicle, <laughs> unfortunately it had a broken window at the front as well, so it wasn't really that much good for a window screen, so I'm gonna make a new one. I'm gonna make a new one. This is the one, the window screen out of the other one, because it's got the side window, which is, that one's broken, so that's the side window. And I've got a piece of uh, plastic that I was mucking about with. We'll go on there and do that. So that all needs cleaning up and tidying up and straightening out. That's the cover. That's the tail. So to get this apart, obviously we're looking at through there, one rivet there, one rivet there, and the rivet on the cab there which in turn has got a tag there. So we'll get the drill out, and these are all nipples on here, so they want centre punching, knocking down. I'm not sure about the wheels, where there's not, uh, there's a little bit of room there, just a, a smidge. I'm going to be careful with that one. The back axle's bent, as you can see. So I'm not, there's a thick old axle on there. So I'm not 100% sure how we're going to get this out. It's not that end, it's this end. I might have to get the, um, what's that bit on there? The burr, the pointed burr to get in there. Because there's no way we're going to get that out. All right. Okay, so I'll get the drill out and we'll get sorted. Let's see if we can get this thing apart then. What I've done... I've drilled all the bits and bobs. Now this was a bit tricky. 
I'll hold it there. It's a bit tricky. Because this, this one here was a big one. It was quite tough, that middle one there. And I had to get a real big drill bit on there. I think I had to get a six, a six plus on there and give it a wiggle around because it was quite a big mushroom on there. These weren't so bad. These two. So them was all right. I ground the axles off. Back one. Weren't too bad. I've got, I used, uh, to, to grind the axles off, I used this burr, pointed burr. Yeah, so I can get in deep and get around the edge. It's a bit tricky. So, once you release those, that comes off. Okay, so we can drill in there. It's quite deep, that, so you can drill for another rivet in those two. That's good. And the cab just comes off. It tilts forward a little bit. Now, I thought that there was a tag in the front there, but that's obviously not in this one you have to locate these two lumps there you see them there look that little lump there that has to locate in the front anyway so that's that like i said i painted them up and, and took the axles ground off the end of there that ground off all right i'm <laughs> not oh yeah there you go so you can see they're quite thick axles it's a good size so we'll get them in the tub. You can't turn these round if you damage the front. They've got a little bit of damage on there, but there was damage on there in the first place. But I'll sand that. I'll wet and dry that, and that'll be smooth. That's fine. And it's just a little bit knurled around there. Same with the back ones. They came off a lot easier. <laughs> it did in a minute ago anyway. There you go. This axle's really bent, this one. I don't know quite know what's going on there. You can see that's bent, look. So, these wheels seem to be stuck together. And they might come apart. Well, they might not. Don't know. Well, I was looking at that. Yeah, so that's all right. I didn't do any damage on that one. So, just be careful when you're doing this. I mean, they are tricky. I'll have to straighten that out with a hammer to get that out. That's well banana, isn't it? So that's that. That's that. That's the chassis. Pretty straightforward, that one. Now the cab, the interior just drops out. I'm not sure if that steering wheel's broken. I'll just check. Steering wheel, got the nice driver's seat. We'll keep that red because that's we're going to keep it sort of what it is now, red and white. So chuck that in there. Now this is the this is the we're not going to be using this. I don't think no because it's got uh, that's broken there. So we won't be using this, but I won't throw it away because it's got a nice solid piece across there. If I need a back window for anything, a lorry or a truck. That I was coming out, he says, don't throw your glass away. Okay. So that's that. We'll put that in there with that. And there's your cab. There is your cab. <clears throat> so that's it. Ready for the stripper. That's going to want some gentle drilling to get there. You can't go very deep in there. So it'll be a cut down rivet going in there. Okay. Not a great deal of detail going to do the black grill chrome badge and chrome sides chrome handles chrome handles okay like i said i'm going to keep it simple for a few weeks that's it off to the stripper we will go off to the stripper we will go five -o. okay then let's get some caustic soda on this mercedes fan on. I'm using two trays this time because it's too big for one. So we'll see how we get on. I'm going to struggle with this one I think, getting this cab in. I don't think it's deep enough. But 
we'll give it a go. There we go. Yeah, that's a good one. Whoa! That's got to put too much water in. It's been white, I don't know how long it's going to take to, to get off. White and red, it's not very good. I'm just putting a little bit on that cap. There. I haven't put that much on it, it looks like I have my abs. Seriously, trust me. I'm expecting this to take a while. Oh, I have to do with a bit of a WD-40 on them, couldn't I? touching this. Sometimes caustic soda doesn't always get all the paint off. Some paints it's a bit resistant to. This white's coming off on the cab though. That's coming off. So that's not a real problem. So another white's going to be okay. It's just a red. That marks go in the stripper jar overnight. It's always handy to have um, a jar of the old paint stripper, handy. For this sort of stuff. Let's try this. No, it's coming off, but I don't know if you can see that. Get it at the right angle. Yeah, that's coming off here. So that's good. Here we go. I thought we'd show you this bit this time because it's uh, hopefully not going to be a very long build. I'll leave these to soak a bit longer and we'll see how we get on and I'll catch you in a mo, in a mo Joe. Out the stripper, see I've had a bit of a clean up on it, come out quite nice, that red weren't too bad I had to leave it in for about half an hour uh, and it did come off so that's pretty good, good result. So I've done that, that's all cleaned up, I've there wasn't any casting line to speak of really on here. A bit rough around the edges, but that's not much. So that's that. The cab come out quite nice. Yeah, it's quite nice there. Yeah, it's got, if you see, I don't know if you see that there, a little bit there where it's got flattened slightly, not a lot. I did try and put a file on that. I just moved it out a little bit best I can. Yeah, so that's okay. And the back here, that's come up all right. Yeah, pretty clean. Just going to run a file over the top of that edge of them because you can see, if you look for that far edge there, you can see it's just a little bit uh, raggy there. So I'm just going to run a file over there or even a bit of sandpaper, something like this, just to, just to take that off. Just take these burr off the edge of it. Where it's been chipped and banged around. It's 
smooth it out a little bit. So there you go. Uh, I've flattened down the pins to the axle. So they'll fit on there now. It's a big old thing. This. So they should fit. That should go on there. So I've got a drill for the rivets now. That's the next bit. Drill for the rivets. So there you go. We are done. I'm going to have some dinner now. I'm going to have a bit of chow mein. Just a quick shot. Just a quick shot of the uh, cab painted. And the trailer painted. The bed of the trailer. And the chassis. They're just up there now drying. They've had a primer. And they've had a couple of coats with the white. Need to do a couple of three thin coats. Don't go mad with it. I think that's come out quite nice. In a minute. So we're gonna let them dry, and then we'll have a coat of, uh, coat of lacquer on. Okay. All our parts painted now. And lacquered. Come out quite nice. That's the cab. It's everything's a bit bright at the back here. It might be. A lot might have bounced off there, so there's that. There's the chassis. Went quite nice. Oops, I'm already chipping it now, do I? And there, and the bed. So basically, we've got like that. Well, I don't need to do anything to the bed, so I'm going to put that over here out of the way. So, what we need to do with the chassis is just put the silver in for the lights. And what I'm going to do at the minute, I'm going to paint this grill black. Okay, and then I'm going to put the chrome in there. It's a job to see it from on there. So I'm going to go ahead and paint this. Paint this now I'm using the Rebel Aqua. I'm going to use a matte on this. Because most radiated grills come up matte, didn't they? So I don't know if you're going to see much because the light is shining on this. But we'll have a go anyway. It's quite a big grill on this. So we'll go nice and steady. I'll thin the paint down so it flows into the uh, into the lines, if you know what I mean. Yeah. That's what we're going to do here. If your th paint's too thick, it goes over the ridges rather than soak into them so i've thinned it down this rep revel revel aqua paint is quite thick anyway so it's always good to thin it down get better coverage i think anyway so like i say being white it's going to be a bit awkward for you to to see this i would say He's having a whitey. Yeah, there we go. Try and purposely not to go over the bit that I'm going to paint chrome. But it doesn't matter if I do. But it's good practice to try and keep in between the lines, you know. I was a moment at my kids, you know, when they were doing their colouring. Keep between the lines. What are you doing? And they'd be scribbling all outside the lines like kids do. I'm going, no, that's no good. Then I'd have to do it myself. Yeah, I looked at a few Im images on these ones. There are quite a few different configurations of radiator grill. I think on this one, these side pieces opened that way and that way, and this front bit opened that way to get access to the bits and pieces underneath. Some of them had, uh, I think the later versions, had lights in the grill. Whereas the one I've got here, the, I presume it's the earlier version, had the lights in the bumper. 
So that's a bit of information. No doubt there's some lorry guys out there who will know about this. There we go. Well, thanks for your recommendations on the paintbrushes. We had quite a few recommendations. I've looked into the ones that you've uh, recommended, and uh, I'm going to buy a selection and see how we get on. One of them was recommended to me. Um, it was quite expensive. It was twelve pound a brush. But I don't mind, to be honest with you, I don't mind paying good money for good quality, I think, because it lasts longer as well. Like they always say, if you're going to buy tools, buy good ones. Because at the end of the day, it's your benefit, isn't it? That's how I see it, anyway. So there we go, we're getting in there. There's not a lot of detail on this thing. I will say this is the most detail on this. So I'm going to get this done, I'm going to have to let this dry. You don't, the worst thing you want to do is try and mix, try and put silver paint or chrome paint on paint that's not quite dry. It's good to know there's quite a few people out there who's, who are friends of the channel who are quite good at their artwork and stuff. And I was surprised when we got about brushes, people said, oh, yeah, I paint this and I, and I do this. And, I, and it's very interesting to know what other people do as a hobby. It really is. I know some people have more than one hobby. Well, it's interesting to know. What other people do, and it's surprising what other people know. And you know, everybody everybody doesn't know everything, so it's always nice to hear from people who uh, who do know. Uh, and I think it's interesting. And I, I'm for, for me, honestly, if somebody says to me, "Oh well, yeah, this it's this is that is the other," I go, "Yeah, well, I didn't know that." And I admit that if I don't know it, I don't know it. And I'm, I'm, I'm always grateful that somebody corrects me if, if I've done it wrong. And I think that's a good thing. Share and care. There used to be a charity shop called Share and Care. I, never, I haven't seen it for a while. Yeah. Good thing about doing black on white, you can see where you've missed. Right, this, this has been on seven minutes now, so I'm not going to go on much longer on this. But you get get the gist of what I'm doing here. Okay. So, yeah, we're getting there. I'm going to do all the black, and then I'm going to go and fill in the silver afterwards, okay? So, basically, I'm only going to do that, the door handles on here, and there'll be the silver on the lights on there okay and i'm going to put a little bit of orange in the corner because i looked at i looked at one of these and they've got a little indicator light built in the in the edge of the light uh and i think there's tail lights yeah tail lights so i'll get back to you when that's done that's all the details painted then they're quite nice a bit fiddly but we got there in the end door handles on as I like to say there's not a lot of detail on this uh, if you look at the front there if you look just here just there and just there he's like indicator lights okay just on the inside edge there they're on the you've got your lens and then you've got your your uh, outer silver which is like your bucket and just inside the bucket is these indicators. That's why the lights look like that, because there's the main lens, and then you've got a, a bucket where they sit in, and just obviously drilled in the side of the bucket is the indicators. So that's that. 
back lights are on they're done I've gone and put the axles back on because they took some painting over because they're big chunky things look at the size of them so that took some that took some doing so just basically got the tires on first I had to heat the tires up put them on especially on the back because I don't think I would have got them on with the wheels in place so I heated the tires up into some hot water uh, put them on first then put the axle through and then knocked it over and I just put a little blob of super duper in there just to keep them in <clears throat> okay so there we go so next I'm working on the windscreen got a, I did I've been practicing messing about with a piece I've got here I've, I've chucked it away now uh, oh here it is I've got a piece of clear. this is all damaged now because I've been mucking about with it so what I'm going to do this is roughly the size the size that I want now so I'm just going to fold it fold it over the edge and I'm going to attach that to there okay and then put the whole unit in and then this sits up I was messing about because every time I put this in it was knocking that out because it sits in that ridge there this windscreen sits in that ridge there so that was what was causing me the problem but I think I've got it sus now so I'll be messing about I'll get this cut have a new piece I'll better cut myself a couple of these in case it got a scratch it's got a scratch there across it all right so that'll be the next job okay then um hold on let's just suck my tea oh right done all the details seen them right the window what i've done i use a piece of this and there's a ridge there and i've glued it into that ridge there and i've used this you you who glue yeah get it from the pound shop it's a bit stringy so be careful with it uh but it doesn't cloud the window and i was going to super glue it and i thought well, no i want to cloud it now what i've done here as well because it was broke I've, I've trimmed that back so in effect what will happen this will sit this top edge will sit and get trapped in there like that yeah so that's the that's the general idea so that will drop in like so now i've done this a couple of times now you guarantee now that i do this it's going not going to work but it does go in all right trust me and it's flimming cold in the shed this morning i've got the door open because I've got my new dog. Bless him. So yeah, and that goes in like so. And I have to push it forward with a cockatiel sticker. This is where it gets a bit tricky. Right, I've got to pull it out again now. You've got to get it just right, or else it won't. Uh, it won't sit right to push that there you go that's got it and you push it up slightly i'm sorry it's not very good seeing but because this is all white it's uh there you go that's in it's in it's in lad it's in The only thing I'm not happy with is, uh, yeah, there you go. That's better, isn't it? Yeah. So that's all in there now. So what I'm going to do now, get ready for the assembly, because that's all done now, which was the last piece to do. And this piece of plastic was off a roller blind casing. You know, we get you buy a roller blind in the shop and you get that plastic casing it comes in. Well, I got that and I cut that up and used that. Okay. So there you go. Job done. So now get ready for the assembly. Right. Assembly time. Here we go. Ooh, get rub my hands together. Okay. Let's see. We'll get... I'll tell you what, it's quite a big dish. Let's just move some of this out of the way a little bit because you won't be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, first of all, we'll get the... We'll go with a cab. That just slides over the top there. Okay, like that. It slides in there like that. 
Okay. So it's going to be a bit tricky this. I'll put a bit of super duper in there. Get this one locked in place first. The glue's getting a bit empty. My glue. My glue. That's that in. Put that in there a second. Hopefully that'll go off. That's not very good, is it? Not very good. I'm going to let that go off a second. I need that to go off before I continue. So I'll leave that like that for a minute. Okay. Oh, that's dried. Next thing then, we'll get this on. That just locates on its pins. There and there. You can see the two pins there and there. Okay, so a bit of super duper. Now oh, it's bloody raining again now. Red super duper. You in there, boy. And you in the back. There you go. So I'm holding it up because uh, I don't want to put the cab down just yet. Right, okay. So that's that then. Right, the tailboard. That just sits in. Get the right way around. Uh, I think it's that way around, isn't it? No, it's that way around. It's so cold, my bloody fingers are um, freezing up here. <laughs> I don't believe this. This tailboard goes in so easy. It really does. Oh, there you go. That's got it. Clicks in. And it does come down. Like that, yeah. This tailboard I got from Steve Flowers. Bottle of supplies. This is the canopy. Just fits over the top like that. Okay. Right. Get it on the magic roundabout and have a look at it. This is what we started with. Dinky Toys Mercedes LP 1920. So now we can have a look how it all finished up. Okay then, here she is. Only just fits on the turntable. Going round. Quite a simple one this one to do. Except for the windscreen, that was a bit tricky. But we got it there in the end. Yeah. Quite like this one. Quite like this one, nice red chassis. Nice and bright. Completely repainted, as you can see. Looking good. Get this on the grill there. And the new wind front window screen looks pretty smart. Yeah. Okay then. Well, thanks for watching. And thanks for sticking with me. Like I say, we're doing some easy ones first until after Christmas. I've had the uh, uh, appointment booked for the 20th of December. 
So I don't know whether I'll get my glasses before Christmas or just after. But we'll soon see. Okay. Well, have fun. And I'll see you all next week with something different. Another simple one it'll be, I'm afraid. There you go. All the best to you. And I'll see you in the comments. Bye for now. Here we go. Back end. Oh, I've done the tail lights as well. You can't really see them underneath there. They're right underneath the back there. There you go. Let's get a front view before we knock it on the head. That is it.